Hello friends, today we are going to see the trick to find edge parameter of two port network. Okay, so without wasting our time, let's start with the very first sum. This sum is of EC2005 and the question is the edge parameter of the circuit shown in the figure is. Okay, so here you can see the network is here and the options are given here. Okay, so let's start with the traditional way and then after that we will see the trick. Okay, so the traditional way says that first you have to write the equation. Okay and we know how to write the equations of two port network okay so we have we have to find out the edge parameter okay so for left hand side we know for edge parameter we have transconductance okay so here we will have v1 and i2 okay and for right hand side we are going to use priority trick priority trick says that first your input parameter should come okay so it means here you can see v1 and i2 is consumed input parameter is remaining that is i1 okay so first we are going to write i1 and then v2 okay so hope you know this trick to write the formula of this two port network if you don't know you can watch my previous video the link of that video is in the i button okay so here you can see first we have to make i1 equals to zero then we have to make v2 equals to zero to get our h11 h12 h21 and h22 okay so first let us make i1 equals to zero okay when we make i1 equals to zero then it means h12 will be v1 by v2 and h22 will be i2 by v2 okay so if we make i1 equals to zero it means we don't have any current in this branch okay it is zero ampere it means there won't be voltage drop across this resistor okay so it means that this resistance is acting as a short circuit okay so here from this circuit you can see that when this resistor is acting as a short circuit our v1 will be equals to v2 why because you can see the voltage drop across this 20 ohm will be equals to v2 as well as v1 okay so we are going to say that v1 equals to v2 okay so here you can see we know that h12 is v1 by v2 and from here we get that v1 equals to v2 okay so v1 by v2 it will be simply 1 okay and this is our h12 okay now for h22 h22 is v2 and i2 okay so here you can see if we want to write v2 in terms of i2 it will be v2 is equals to 20 into i2 okay there is no no current coming from this branch okay it is zero ampere okay so the i2 current will be completely flowing from this resistance okay so here we will get v2 is equals to 20 into i2 okay and we want i2 by v2 it means i2 by v2 it will be 1 upon 20 okay so our s22 will be 1 upon 20 it is nothing but 0 0.05 okay so these are the two parameters that we get from i1 equals to 0 let us make v2 equals to 0 okay when we make v2 equals to 0 it means we will get h11 is equals to v1 by i1 and h21 equals to i2 by i1 okay so if we make v2 equals to 0 you can see here we have made v2 equals to 0 it means the voltage drop across this resistance is 0 volt okay so you can say that this resistance will now act as a redundant resistance okay so whatever the current flowing from this branch that is i2 will come in this branch also okay so we can say that i1 will be equals to minus i2 right and here you can see for h21 we want i2 and i1 okay so we can say that i2 by i1 will be simply minus 1 okay and now for this v1 and i1 okay so here you can see that resistance is redundant okay so here it is short circuited okay so we can say that this voltage v1 will be totally come across this resistance okay so here we will get v1 okay so we can say that v1 is equals to 10 i1 or minus 10 i2 okay both are the same right we want v1 and i1 so we will write v1 is equals to 10 i1 okay so v1 by i1 will be simply 10 okay so we get all the four parameters okay so if we write in the matrix we will get h parameter is nothing but 10 1 minus 1 0 0.5 okay so this was the traditional way and you can see you have consumed lot more time to get this answer okay now let us see the trick by which we can save some time okay so the trick is that first we have to get z parameter and by z parameter equation we will get our h parameter easily okay so let's use this trick into the same sum and there we will understand this trick in a more better way okay so here you can see this network is a t network okay so here you can see this is 10 ohm this is 20 ohm and here we have zero ohm resistance okay and we know how to write z parameter for a t network easily okay if you don't know you can watch my z parameter trick okay so the z parameter for this t network will, will be 10 20 it is nothing but 30 20 20 and 20 ohm okay so we can write this z parameter as 30 20 20 20 okay so if we write this 
matter x into the equation we will get v1 is equals to 30i1 plus 20i2 right and from this row we, we can write v2 is equals to 20i1 plus 20i2 okay so this is the z parameter equation okay v1 v2 in terms of i1 and i2 okay but we want h parameter okay that is v1 i2 in terms of i1 and v2 okay so if you see this two equation you can see this second equation is v2 i1 i2 and this second equation is i2 i1 v2 okay so you can say that if we change the place of some terms we can get this equation okay so if we make this i1 at left hand side and divide by 20 we will get i2 is equals to minus i1 i1 20 i1 is shifted at left hand side so we will get minus i1 because 20 is also divided okay so here we will get minus i1 plus b2 by 20 okay so i hope you understand this simple simplification here we will get i2 is equals to minus i1 plus v2 by 20 okay so this is our equation one and you can also say that second equation of h parameter okay why because you can see i2 we have left hand side i1 and v2 we have in right hand side okay so from this equation we can get h21 and h22 and for this first equation what we are going to do is here we know that v1 is equals to 30 i1 plus 20 i2 okay we want v1 in terms of i1 and v2 here we have v1 in terms of i1 and i2 okay so we have to make i2 in terms of v2 so for that what we will do we will use this equation again okay we know that i2 is equals to minus i1 plus v2 by 20 okay so if we replace i2 in this equation we will get v1 is equals to 30 i1 plus 20 minus i1 plus v2 by 20 okay so if we simplify it we will get v1 is equals to 10 i1 plus v2 okay so you can say that this is the first equation of h parameter and this is the second equation of h parameter okay so you can say that h11 will be 10 h12 will be 1 h21 will be minus 1 and h22 will be 0 0.05 okay 1 upon 20 is 0 0.05 okay so you can say that with this trick we are going to save minus time okay so let's use this trick into some another sums also okay so here you can see this is the second sum this sum is of ec 2016 the statement is given like this that when switch one this is our switch one and this is our switch two okay so when switch one is open switch two is closed okay it means that i1 is equals to zero ampere basically the ammeter one is having a rating of zero ampere okay v1 equals to 4.5 volt v2 is equals to 1.5 volt a2 is equals to 1 ampere basically the ammeter 2 is reading current as 1 ampere okay and the second statement is saying that when s1 is closed s2 is open ammeter 1 is reading 4 ampere v1 is equals to 6 volt v2 is equals to c volt and ammeter 2 is reading as 0 ampere okay the circuit is here and the question is asked to find out the z parameter and h parameter okay as we know by the trick first we have to find z parameter and then from the z parameter we can get h parameter easily and this question satisfies that okay so here you can see first we have to find out the z parameter okay so for z parameter we are going to use the statement okay we know the z parameter equation that v1 is equals to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 v2 is equals to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 okay so if we make i1 equals to 0 it means we can get z12 and z22 okay z12 will be v1 by i2 okay so z12 is v1 by i2 we have to use the statement where a1 is 0 ampere okay so you can see this is a statement when a1 equals to 0 okay v1 by i2 it will be 4.5 into 1 and then z22 is v2 by i2 okay so v2 is 1.5 and here i2 is 1 ampere okay so it will be 1.5 ohm okay so you get 4.5 ohm as z12 and z22 is 1.5 ohm okay similarly if you make i2 equals to 0 so we are going to see this s2 open wala statement okay so our z11 will be v1 by i1 and our z21 will be v2 by i1 okay so from this here you can see v1 by i1 is 6 by 4 it is nothing but 3 by 2 ohm and v2 by i1 it is nothing but 6 by 4 again that is 3 by 2 ohm okay so from this here you can see that z11 is 1.5 ohm and z21 is 1.5 ohm also okay so our z parameter will be 1.5 ohm 4.5 ohm 1.5 ohm and 1.5 ohm okay and from the option you can clearly see that this c option satisfies our matrix okay so we are going to see that for first question this c option is correct okay now let's find out the h parameter okay for h parameter we are going to use the same trick that first we are going to write the z parameter equation so okay so the z parameter equation is v1 equals to 1.5 i1 plus 4.5 i2 v2 equals to 1.5 i1 plus 1.5 i2 okay 
So if we use the second equation of Z parameter, we can get second equation of H parameter directly. That is I2 is equals to minus I1 plus V2 by 1.5. Okay, just you have made I1 at this side and divided by 1.5. Okay, so you get I2 is equals to minus I1 plus 0.67 V2. Okay, now you want the first equation. Okay, so for first equation, you are going to use the first equation of Z parameter again and you are going to replace this I2 with this equation. Okay, so if we replace I2 with this equation, we will get V1 is equal to 1.5 I1 plus 4.5 minus I1 plus V2 by 15. Okay, so if we simplify it, we will get V1 is equal to minus 3 1 plus 3 V2. Okay, so you can see that this is our first equation as you can see V1 is equals to h11 i1 plus h12 v2 okay so you are going to say this is your first equation of h parameter and this is your second equation of h parameter okay so if you compare with our standard h parameter equation you will say that h11 is minus 3 h12 is 3 h21 is minus 1 and h22 is 0.67 okay so this is our h parameter matrix okay and from the option you can see that a option is correct okay so you can clearly see if we use this trick in this type of sum we are going to save much time okay so that's it for today thank you guys